Okay, set it up. I wouldn't be able to vlog. This is this is intense. I always gotta rehearse what I have to say. I have to record it like four to five times until I say it right. My lady was talking to me and she was like, "You gotta be more real. Don't be don't be afraid to say something wrong." Or and I was like, "You know what? You're right. I should give it a try. I think I got it. Good." Perfection, perfection. So today is a really exciting day because I'm gonna finally complete this cover up that I started a year ago. On my co-artist Kenny G Art. If you guys wanna follow him on Instagram, he's a dope ass artist. Kenny G Art underscore or underscore Kenny G Art. One of those two. He's always busy, I'm always busy, our schedules never match. So that's the reason why we haven't completed it. A couple days ago, my client sent an email and, and he said that he wasn't gonna be able to make it. I texted Kenny and I said, yo, you trying to get tatted or what? So he said, I have a short day and I'm free the rest of the day. And I said, perfect. I do get a lot of questions regarding how my cover-ups healed after a year, the way they look. So this is perfect. I get to show you guys the way it looks healed after a year and the way it looks fresh so right next to each other healed and fresh i have videos where i show you guys like heel tattoos and things like that but never next to each other so it's just exciting this is this is a great today's gonna be great where is that oh, i can't find it now i had to scroll i had to scroll to find these pictures because it's been that long okay here it is let me see let me get this camera oh. so there's a lot going on there's lettering, there's line work, there's a skull, there's a, like three eyeballs, roses, a random angel wing, I guess. I don't know what that is. Um, a face right there. So there, there's definitely a lot going on. And you might be, oh, hold on, let me. Uh, and you might be wondering why he has uh, all that on his arm. And the answer is because he has, uh, Oh my lord. So this is this is the reason why he has all of these on his arm is because he has a lot of homies that are tattoo artists. So everybody was practicing on each other. So he ended up with this arm. And you know, it's been a couple it's been a couple years now, so I said I can I can cover it up. I got you. I also wanted to mention that everything I I teach you guys it's just what works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you doesn't mean it's gonna work for everybody there's a lot of different ways to do a tattoo so don't don't think that I'm over here like oh yeah my way is the only way to do this you know uh, it's not it's really not so today is gonna be a great day I hope you guys enjoyed this video so let's get this day started I forgot my car is at the shop so I have to take a lift oh okay Bye, Frida. I'll see you later. Hello. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, thank you. No problem. So this next video that I'm about to show you is the tattoo, the way it looks like after a year. I was only able to apply my darkest tone and also I wasn't able to finish. I still need to do the cheeks and the chin area. You can still see a lot of that tattoo because I wasn't able to do my lightest tones. But I'm really happy with it even though I wasn't able to finish. That tattoo underneath is barely visible so I can't wait to get this done. Let's go. Alright guys, so check this out. There's a little bit of scar in here, a little lifted. Nasty. Míralo, míralo, como te estás moviendo, desgraciado. I'm sorry, but I'm still there. Ahí está bien, ahí está bien, ahí me ahí te quedas. Hold it, I'm still no te muevas. I'm running it at 6.0. Do not overwork it. Make sure to pack it in first pass. Because if you go over this two to three times, that's it. That skin. It's gonna look like, like what, Kenny? Meatloaf. Meatloaf. There we go. <laughs> Take your time. Relax. The way I know that I have the right length, it vibrates. It feels good on my hand. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. <laughs> Vibration. All right, all right, this is packing. This is packing. You like the way it vibrates? I like the way it vibrates. <laughs> I'm using my 15 curve mag. 
video, I'm gonna act like the most annoying client you've ever had. Do it. It hurts. What does it hurt right there? <laughs> Would that need a nail? <laughs> Are you gonna put some shading over here? <laughs> As you guys can see, there's a lot of a lot of stuff here on the lip. It's quite disgusting. But just it. It's a little crusty. It's a little crusty. I can feel every single line, especially this right here. It feels three-dimensional. I'm gonna use my 14 round or shader. Round shader. 14 round shader. <laughs> I mixed a little bit of my medium medium tone with my lighter tone. It's right in between that. After this, I keep dipping my needle into my lighter tone to keep making so I can reach like a, the original. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Uh, it's hard to explain this shit. I don't know if you guys can hear the vibration. That shit sounds beautiful. Hear the hurt. The hurt. Vibration. Let me see. Okay. Hopefully they can hear everything. That'd be nice. Okay. So, me and my medium tone right now. Now this technique is quite exquisite. <laughs> it's a crazy technique. So I'm just gonna to make texture. This is what I'm gonna do with my 14 round liner. Just go at it. Just go at it. Don't even think about it. Just go at it. Have fun with it. Have a lot of fun with it. What do you call that? Don't be technique? scared. I call it la pendejete technique. Because it's you're just doing what you want. Look at this, look at this. Got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You hear that? You hear that rattling? Rattling? Rattling. Is that the right term? Sure. Rattling. I can feel it, I can tell you that. Look at this, look at this, look at this technique. Look at this technique. Kenny, if you want to put a piquet in the face. You think you're going to laugh there. El chismoso, el chismoso. <risa> Mira que tienes una verruga. Una, una verruga. ¿Es una verruga o lunar? Lunar es una verruga. ¿Qué fue la diferencia entre eso? Una verruga, güey, es la que tienen como las brujas, güey. Las... <risa> I'm done with this. No, espérate tú, loquillo. I just applied some basicane to numb the skin because this food's complaining too much like a Karen. <laughs> Alright, so the needle that I'm going to be using for the white highlights, a 7 liner. I'm going to lower my voltage to 5.5. Jesus. Let's put some, um, what is that thing? Um, the glossy shit on your lip? Chapstick? No. Lip gloss? Lip gloss. Lip gloss. Just enough. And then you go here. Just enough. Crack, 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 crack. There you go. I'm just adding white highlights wherever I think is best. I'm just having fun. All right, guys. This is it right here. This is going to be the final video before I show you guys the, the final product or the final tattoo. <laughs> product. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate it, of course. Stay tuned. I might be doing a giveaway. Ooh, what? What? I might be doing a giveaway for November. Thanksgiving. Giving thanks for, for, for everything. For all the support. So, follow me on Instagram. Because I will not post it on YouTube. <laughs> you got to follow me on Instagram. For all the details. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> guys I didn't know I was recording that the spot that I was tattooing all right I got you all right this is the final video for sure <laughs> all right you guys seen enough I don't know if you guys noticed but this video was a little bit different than the ones you guys usually see this was more of a vlog so let me know what you guys think Drop a comment, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and enjoy the reveal.